Hi, and welcome back to the Batty.com channel. Since we started 20 years ago, the number one most requested video is how do I remove the instrument panel. Today I'm proud to say we shot that video. Step one is to disconnect the battery. We're going to use a standard 5 16 inch battery wrench, and we're going to disconnect the positive terminal. Okay, and we'll set that battery cable off to the side. Next step in removing the instrument panel is to remove the plastic carpeted panel below the steering wheel. To do that, we'll remove the two screws on the end first. Okay, those screws are located here and here. To get those screws out, we're going to use a Torx 15 on the screw closest to the driver. And we're going to use a 9 32 inch socket for clearance on the screw closest to the front of the car. Okay, so the next step is to remove the two screws on the front of that panel. Those are going to be a 9 32 inch screw, and they're located here and here. To do that, we're going to use a 9 32 inch socket. The two screws closest to the driver are circled here in yellow. At the bottom of that panel, there are three screws. The locations are shown in red here. All five of those screws are 9 32 inch, and we'll remove those all to remove this panel. On the back side of this panel, we're going to see lighting. We've got some wires connected to a light. We're going to pry the two clear tabs back, back away from the connector, and pull the connector free. Next, we're going to remove the metal crush panel below the steering wheel. We're going to remove bolts located here and here. Uh, we're going to use a standard 10 millimeter socket to remove those bolts. Next, we're going to remove the two screws on the left side which are located here and here. We're going to use that same 10, 10, 10 millimeter socket. And we're going to go ahead and remove the crush panel and set it aside. What we see here is that uh, while the, all of the bolts have uh, 10 millimeter heads, uh, the two that were on the left are the, the bigger ones. The two that are on the right are the smaller ones. The next step is to loosen the trim piece around the instrument panel. We're going to use a standard number two Phillips screwdriver for that. The screws are located here and here and here and here. We're going to pull the trim piece forward toward the driver for clearance. The next step in the process is to lower the steering column slightly. To do that, we're going to use a 15 millimeter socket and remove the two bolts on either side of the Y-shaped plate. Those bolts are located here and here.
Okay, the next step is to remove the instrument panel itself. To do that, we're going to use a 9 32nd inch socket and a 4 inch extension to remove those bolts. When we remove those bolts, we're going to have a magnet standing by to make sure that they don't rattle down into the dash and never to be, never to be seen again. One more time we'll show you where the screws holding the instrument panel are located. Those screws are located here and here and here and here. Pull the instrument panel forward to remove it from the dash. It isn't necessary to disconnect the wiring harness from the instrument panel before you pull it forward and away from the car. When you pull the instrument panel forward, the wiring harness will automatically disconnect from the instrument panel. Here's what the dash looks like without the instrument panel in place. My name is Brian Thompson and I founded the website Betty.com where you can find more free information and videos to fix Corvette electronics. You can also find the parts and tools you see us using in the videos. Thanks to your support, I'm proud to say that 10 Americans have jobs. Hi friends, 20 years of experience can make these repairs look easier than they really are. But don't worry, we have your back. If you're not getting the results you see here, then stop and pack it up and send it to us. We have the parts, the tools, and the experience needed to do the job right.